Hi everyone, welcome to my week 22 post-op update. Today's Monday, November the 3rd. I'm just out running some errands today. I uh, had to go get some dog food and uh, go to the dry cleaners and stuff like that. Just run a bunch of little errands. But um, decided I would better pull over here and make a, my update. Uh, I apologize for not getting around to that yesterday. I got kind of sidetracked. But um, so here we go. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say thanks to everybody who tuned into my last video and uh, responded to my plea for uh, help uh, with getting Stephanie on track. Um, I was really kind of overwhelmed with uh, all the support and uh, and you know really uh, thoughtful uh, ideas and um, you know everybody's uh, wishes and prayers and stuff. Um, so thank you for that. Um, once again, this is the probably the world's greatest. Um, support group I, I could ever ask for so uh, thanks for everything um, I'm happy to report that she is doing a little bit better um, if uh, if you recall from my last video um, she uh, had a port installed under her skin much like a, a port for like lap band people uh, to allow you know, easy access to uh, you know get fluids into her system um, Allows us also to have these fluids administered at home instead of having to go to the hospital every time. Uh, just because she's had so much trouble with nausea that she can't keep, you know, liquids and uh, nutrition down. But uh, we got, uh, her port was accessed for the first time over the weekend. And that allows me to uh, take care of, you know, giving her fluids and stuff. She gets, uh, she's going to be on one bag of fluid a day. Um, just saline with some potassium mixed in. Uh, she'll get one of those a day for the next 14 days, and then we see her surgeon again. He'll reassess if she needs to continue or not. But um, she's doing, you know, after three, uh, or after, I'm sorry, after two uh, bags of fluid, she's doing actually really good. Um, her nausea is greatly reduced. Um, she is, uh, uh, was able to get some soups in, and actually last night got some solid food in. So, um, and with this, and didn't have any, you know, didn't have any nausea. But, um, you know, she says she's feeling better, so um, I'll definitely take that as a good sign that we're on the right track. Um, so hopefully uh, here pretty soon, you know, she can get some strength back and uh, finally start, you know, kind of reaping the rewards of, uh, you know, this surgical process we all went through. Um, it's just unfortunately taken her a lot longer to get up on her feet, so... Again, thanks to everybody for, uh, for your support, your thoughts, and your ideas and stuff. Uh, I've really taken them all to heart, and I appreciate it. Um, as far as uh, my uh, progress here on week 22, I'm down another five pounds, um, so I'm at 315 right now. Um, very happy with that. I'm trying to really keep it five pounds a week or better. Um, you know, trying to, to break through this 300-pound uh, barrier, and it's getting pretty close. So I'm really excited with that. Um, I was very proud of myself over uh, Halloween. Um, didn't have any candy whatsoever. I uh, was very proud of that. Uh, we had gone to Costco and gotten the big jumbo uh, size bag of uh, uh, assorted, you know, chocolates and stuff. Um, I think it was about the size of a standard pillowcase. It was a, probably the biggest bag of candy I've ever seen. About 250 pieces in it. Um, I'm proud to say I handed out pretty much each and every piece. We've got about 10 little pieces left, but, uh, you know, I think Stephanie's mom wants those, so that's cool. But, um, you know, I opened up the bag you know, to pour it into the bowl, you know, to hand out the kids and stuff. And just the smell, just, you know, let, you know, it just didn't really do anything for me. It, it, if anything, kind of made me kind of nauseous. didn't smell good. But, uh, you know, I know a lot of that is, you know, so it's, it's psychological, you know, for me because, you know, I look at that stuff as the enemy. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be around the enemy. So, uh it was a pleasure to, to give it away. We didn't have a whole lot of kids, maybe 50 or 75 kids, but uh, they all got big handfuls of chocolate. So uh, as long as it's out of my house, I, I, you know, I'm glad to do it. But uh, it was fun. A lot of cute kids. Everybody's, all the kids are very polite and nice and stuff like that. So it was a very nice Halloween. Um, but yeah, um, wasn't tempted in the least by the chocolate. Um, and it's just a, you know, a kind of a decision you have to make on your own. You, know, you can either let that stuff... Um, tempt you and let it sidetrack you or you can see it you know as an enemy or as you know a bad thing or the boogeyman or however you want to put it in your head that uh, you know it's something that kind of got you you know to the point where you needed 
someone to cut you open and rearrange your insides to get your life back. And uh, there's no way I'm going to go down that road again. So uh, definitely chalk one up for the big guy there. I've, I've defeated uh, my temptation of chocolate. Last Halloween, we bought the same size bag of, uh, of chocolate for, uh, you know, Halloween and stuff. Like, yeah, we bought it maybe a month prior to Halloween. And by that time, you know, the bag was already opened and, you know, probably a third of it was already gone. And, uh, you know, I'll be the first to admit that uh, I was probably the worst offender there. But yeah, I'm done with it. I'm done with uh, candy and chocolate and, and uh, yeah, there's I can find other alternatives and other rewards uh, to make me feel better about myself than stuffing it full of chocolate. Stuffing my face full of chocolate, that is. Um, but I've been, you know, been walking a lot. Um, I walked up to, uh, the Starbucks like I did last week. I uh, did that this morning and got a delicious, uh, iced tea lemonade and, you know, made a nice walk. You know, I, on all my errands, I park way out in the parking lot and walk up to the store. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to get my steps in. I'm still working out with the, with the Wii Fit and, um, you know, my strength bands. So, you know, I'm doing what I need to do and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, Stephanie will be on the same, kind of on the, on the you know, the same page as I am here pretty soon. But uh, I know she's got, you know, quite a uh, struggle to get, you know, back on track, but she's she's on her way. And again, without you guys, you know, I, I know I couldn't have done it. So, I think that's about it. I just wanted to say uh, I've been watching a lot of videos about people uh, getting excited for the meet and greet. Unfortunately, um, that's beyond the realm of possibility for me right now. Uh, I would love to go. I would, you know, give my eye teeth to go to this thing. Um, what are your eye teeth anyways? But whatever they are, I would give them up to go to this thing. But uh, just bad timing, um, budget-wise, um, priority-wise, I really can't make it this time. But I would love to be there, and I look forward to watching all your videos of those who are attending. And uh, can't wait to see it. It's going to be, you guys are in for a good time, because... A lot of good people are showing up and um, you know, a lot of the people I've looked up to and looked to for encouragement and ideas and support and stuff like that. So it would have been nice to get, you know, have a chance to, you know, thank them in person and give them a big hug and just, you know, kind of express what they've done for me. But, you know, I don't like, I don't like that anybody, <laughs> I don't think anybody ever really know that, uh, how much you all have done for me. So uh, for that, I thank you. Um, but I'm going to go and wrap it up here. Uh, like I said, so far everything's kind of, you know, we're kind of on the upward slope now, so that's good um, that, you know, at least things are pointing in the, in the right direction for Stephanie now. So we'll just keep uh, building on that and um, see how it goes. But I have uh, a lot of confidence, uh, and uh, all these uh, uh, newest signs are very encouraging. So um, everybody have a great day. Um, don't forget to go vote tomorrow, and if you signed up with uh, Acorn, if you registered with Acorn, um, vote often. But um, that's it for now. Um, take care, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.